Welcome back to the channel. I really hope you all had a fantastic day because I'm having a good day. And thanks for the support you guys are all showing. Shrek, Dom White, you're the ones that come to mind right away. Thanks a lot for all the comments. Let's see what's happening in FIFA this time. I believe there are a lot of SPCs. We're going to really talk about the squad. I've updated it quite a fair bit. I've got Lingard up front. I've converted him to a striker because his stats are actually okay for this point in the game for a striker in the Prem. The only ones that would beat him are really Jesus, Rashford and Aguero, Obama Yang. Only ones really that beat him and they're too expensive in comparison to spending whatever I spent on him, which we would have been... But we have got a pack. Let's get it done right away. It's one from that Pulisic SBC a while ago. Fun enough, we packed Pulisic. But hey, two rare golds. Give us a walkout. We haven't had a walkout yet on this series, so pray for me. And I do just want to look at some of the SPCs that have been released because some of them are really good value and some of them are awful. But hey, give us some more. Yes, French. Not bad. I don't know if this is the walkout chat. Goalkeeper, Spurs. Oh, oh I said in four. <laughs> I wanted it to be Lloris because that would have been like, yes, I could have got Patricio out because Patricio is not good, to be honest. Oh, come on. But hey, is it tradable? And I could, you know, it's tradable. I like two French players. Wow. How much is he going for a chat? Let's have a look. Ah, nah, he's discard. We'll keep him. 84 discard is good to have in the club. How good is his actual card? 6 one, he's not the tallest. And yeah, he's not He's not actually that usable, to be fair to him. Yeah. There you go. Let's get in and see what's sold. But yeah, my two main teams are this team here. Excellent. And I have, in fact, bought the best player in the game I've used this year. And that's Vidal, right? Those in-game stats are disgusting. And I mean revolting. Like, he's so good. He's one of those players. He's actually got the most in-game... He's one of those players. He's got one of those most in-game stats in the game. He's he's up there. He's actually up there. And compare, oh, take icons out and all that. But we're talking about base rate goals. He's actually one of the ones that has the most in-games at the moment. He's up there anyway. Of course, Ronaldo, Messi beat him off, of course. Four-star weak foot. Fantastic. Only 9,500 for that sort of card. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. My, my, my La Liga team is looking very nice. My Premier League team. I need to get a Rodri in there or a Kante in there. But apart from that, I'm happy with everywhere else. And of course, we need an Obama Yang or we need a, even a Aguero or even a Juan Jesus. And I'm like that. Not Juan Jesus, but it's Gabriel Jesus. Is it Gabriel? I can't remember his name. But 82 raid, he can be in there. He'd be better. I'll use an Aspera Quetta because I really just like having a silver, right? I like a full team of silvers or special cards. So I don't want a, like an uh, Aurier in there or a, uh, who was the other one? I had Trippier in there, but then that meant I had to have Antonio and then Port Carlison is so important to have there with that weak foot. But I do just want to comment about the SPCs. Now, this, of course, is going to be a while away. This would have been Bast, but uh, uh, Santi Man, excellent card if he gets upgraded. Now, I'm a Newcastle fan, so I do keep up to date with the Newcastle team. This guy's injured. So unless this is crazy cheap, like I'm talking under 100k, not worth it, chat. Not worth it at all, guys, all right? I do appreciate it. He's got good stamina, and the best thing about him is high-low, excellent, four-star weak foot, five-star skills, and he's not the smallest, but five foot eight is all right. He's no, he's not a Mertens or an Insigne, is he? So he's all right. And those stats, if he does get the boost, he'll go up to an 81, and it'll be his first in form, then it's 83, then 84, 85, and it'll be like that way, if you know what I mean, and it will look nice, and it will be nice. But I'm telling you, he doesn't even play for Newcastle, and you know what, and guys, Newcastle is garbage tier this year and he's not even playing because he's injured so I can't I can't tell you that much this guy well actually I didn't even check how much what, I haven't even looked I've already said he's not worth it but 84 rated 75 bro stay away even that by itself I'm thinking nah and 85 55 bah it's, it's, it's not it's not like they're asking for a lot of chem or informs or anything like that but the fact that it's such high rated and the high rated cards are so expensive right now, no, 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 no. And, and coins are so important for you guys at this point in the game. I'm investing in coins to them, investing in players that are then I'm later selling. I'm making my profit. Martinez looks like a good card. He's a bit small at five seven, high medium I like, four star weak foot I like, three star skill moves I don't like. I like these stats. Stamina's a bit low for a guy that has that much pace, but as a striker, I don't know if he need that stamina too much. I don't really think so. Now, his cost better be under 100k because he's a bad nation in Vag League, okay, for league's main main teams. 84, 85, same as... I would, if I had to pick between these two, you had enough to do one of them because they're probably similarly priced now. I would do, say, Maximin. Just because he's Premier League, and if he does get upgraded, he will be amazing. He gets two upgrades, and he's worth the price of admission. 
I admit that, but he's not going to get two upgrades, in my opinion, because he doesn't even play for Newcastle. Robert Lewandowski is a recent one out as well. He's available for a lot of days. He'll still be open for you guys. I like his card, but it's barely an upgrade on his 89. Like, it's not really an upgrade, if I'm perfectly honest. And his work rates, high medium, I like, four star. I like his, I like his face stats. He's not got the pace, though. He's not actually got pace for a striker. But then again, if you're Bundesliga, Bundesliga have good... Get a Brandt, convert him up to a striker. Get a, even a Gomez, an 82-rated Gomez, man. You get you there. Marky matchups, I complete at my own leisure if I want to do one, but these ones are too expensive at this point in the time. I'm not too bothered about them. Any more SPCs or anything that came out? I don't even know. All these ones you do on your own time, you get them by attrition. I'll show you the team. Oh, more things selling. I'm enjoying FIFA 20. I just enjoyed playing it. At this point of recording... Next episode should be a pack rewards episode, which you guys should be quite excited. I'm excited for just getting some rewards. It should be pretty high up because I've actually played all my games at 48,000. I just enjoy playing it. Like when it comes to these sort of teams, you can beat these teams on the highest cam, on the highest team rated because it's just so much easier. Now, uh, Maximin's a tough one for me. I'm a Newcastle fan. I do like Newcastle, but he doesn't play for us. He's not going to get in forms. Very rarely do Newcastle players get in forms anyway because I hope bad Newcastle are as a club, right? right now as a footballing team I don't think he would either to be honest I've heard good things about him and he is good but Kennedy you, ha you have to really go if you guys think Kennedy will be getting in forms if Newcastle do a good performance is it going to be Kennedy or is it going to be that centre back scraw again who always gets in forms he had so many last year I felt like he probably could have got a team of the season last year that guy but yeah I don't know and th this team excellent who can I say Puku that is an SBC that is worth it 100% for 20 to 30k how much he costs that's bang on and his stats are excellent look what he's done for me 21 32 goals I do feed it to him because he is my best striker by a mile he buries everything my recommendation for when you're playing the computer though or the goalkeeper when you're one on one with the goalkeeper do not go cross body go near post near post works every time cross body is a bit hit and miss you either have to finesse a cross body or that's it but finesse seem to be the trick in terms of hit a finesse around the keeper or you go near post power shot. Those are the ones that seem to work for me. And yeah, the issue I've got is, he's four star, four star, like he's three star, four star. Yeah, he's excellent by the way. For 96k, wow. And his stats are excellent too. Rickarlison, I got burned on him. I bought him when he was quite expensive. He's now down to half that, even. He's a good card. Excellent card. If he was the one to watch, I know he's not a transfer player, that's what the one to watches are. But if he had that one to watch card that would improve with every upgrade he got, I'll be tempted because he is a main man for Everton. He does play on most of the games for Everton. And if you're at Everton do well, I think he's probably one of the ones who would get the upgrade. St. Maximum won't. Trust me, he won't. It's going to be Kennedy. No, no, Kennedy. It's going to be Jolinton if he does. If we in Newcastle do do well enough. Or it's going to be the centre-back, the Swiss. Scar. Scar, centre-back, or maybe the goalkeeper. I like Aspiri Quetta as a centre-back with these stats but he's still by far the best and he was a bit of an investment for me 17k but he's went way up now <laughs> he's at the 25k's right now for me of recording so it's, I'm pretty glad I've got him because he's actually not bad with an anchor he's got he's went up to like do usable pace at this point in the game brilliant defensive he, he's on brick wall now he's absolute brick wall I switched Lingard not Lingard um, what's his name he's Swedish and he's Man United I know you guys know his name. I'm trying to think of his name. Lindelof. Lindelof. With this guy, just because of pace. And this guy has a weird card because he's six foot two. And he has a special... He feels like with that body... Uh, that feels good. I like him. I do like him. He's very... He's a, he's a hidden gem, this guy. And Patricio is just an upgrade on uh, Fabianski because he's six foot three. Very good. And when it comes to my team, you have to picture it. But Klyerson, I don't recommend. He's really bad. But he was just so cheap for me at this point in the game. Six foot one. He's too small. He's still better than what I had. I think I had a Senso, who was also six foot one, so better. Dinye, I like him. Vidal, one of the best players I've the best player I've used this year. Even better than I would even say Piki. Uh Piki. Puku. Puku. What's his name? P Puki. Puki. Oh, fuck, I love these names. Marcus Asensio, he does the job, he's alright. I think he's got three star. Yeah, you do feel it though, you do feel it. This guy, three star, but I like him. He does bury shots. And Murata has grown on me. I would still recommend Jovic, even though he hasn't got the pace Murata has, but he's got that amazing five-star foot, weak foot. You can take shots with him no matter where it is. It doesn't even matter. But yeah, everyone's good to me. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. Next episode will be packs, but of course, we got our info. You can't see him, I'm not giving you pat luck. That's fantastic. And yeah, 
when I talk about SPCs, it's from my point of view, all right? So when it comes to anybody's opinion, if it works for you, you do it. But you have to, of course, look at the pros and cons. Like, I've done this with my team because it works for me. I like the way these players play. But if, as you say, I do two teams because I like doing the fitness switch. It's up to you if you guys want to focus on one team or you want to focus on four teams. Whatever you guys want to do, do what you need to do. But I just, for value for money, in terms of time and coins, and if you do put real money into the game after the initial purchase... Pookie's worth it. That's about it for SBCs. Everywhere else is a bit of a rip-off unless it just fits perfectly, unless he's your God-given player. And don't hold your hat on that um, St. Maximin getting upgrades because he won't. Okay? Yes, you can, you can, I'll, I'll be quite confident on that him not getting upgrades. But drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Peace.